Hello everybody, this is Pun the Frugal Streamer, and I wanted to show you a new app that you can get for your mobile device that will help you control Streamlabs OBS. So it is Streamlabs Remote. It is built within the Streamlabs app that you can go on the Google Play Store and download for free. Yes, it is free, and it works really good. So I have downloaded it, and I want to show you how to get it to work. Uh, first, let me show you what it looks like because it is pretty interesting. So this is what the remote will actually look like uh, when you get it installed. I'll click it up, make it bigger for you. But uh, yeah, so it looks uh, pretty easy to use, and it shows you all your scenes and sources. Uh, you can go live, you can record, you can mute audio sources from it. Uh, it is really cool. All right, so how do you get it to work? All right, so let's go ahead and shift over to Streamlabs OBS. And the first thing you need to do here is you need to go to settings, go down here to remote control, and it will bring up a QR code. Okay, that QR code is important because with, with when you go and sync up the remote control app, it has a QR scanner that it will then sync and get the uh, wireless settings that it needs to sync up with Streamlabs OBS. And it will also sync your scene sources, all that good stuff. Really cool, super easy to do as I'm showing you now. Um, you simply go, you bring the app up on the phone. You need to be using your rear facing camera, so the camera that faces away from you, okay? Bring up the remote, click on it by clicking the little uh, screen there, uh, the little menu in the upper left hand corner, bring it down to the remote control, click it on that, and then you simply scan the QR code. And then it will link up, okay? Once you link it up, then as you can see here, you're doing all of the controls and everything that you can do, and it is near instantaneous as you see me pressing a button and it, of course, changing the scenes on Streamlabs. Really cool. I like it because it helps these, you, you know, some of you streamers that really can't afford a Stream Deck from Elgato, for instance. 150 bucks, Stream Deck's really cool. It does work well, and I do have one. But for you people that can't afford one, you don't feel like dropping 150 bucks. And you're new to streaming, you want to build your stream, this is a great option for being able to remotely control uh, Streamlabs OBS. So really cool, easy to use, and it um, it works really well. But that is it. Just wanted to show you that real quick, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe. Make sure you hit the notifications so when I come out with a new video, you will be the first to know. All right, everybody, thank you. I will have a single PC voice meter banana set up including how, uh, plug in your console to your streaming pc so that you can uh use and have more functionality with audio a voice meter banana gives you that flexibility and i will show you a single pc streaming setup this weekend that i use okay guys thank you very much i hope everybody has a great weekend be safe this is pun frugal streamer bye bye